Hi, I'd like to thank you guys for the 300,000 and counting views in my last um, Anita Sarkeesian video. A few of you linked me to the Norwegian Gender Paradox video, which I had not seen before, so thank you. It was really quite eye-opening. If you haven't seen it, you should definitely watch it. it. You can find it on YouTube, the Norwegian Gender Paradox. It has to do with the finding that, the paradoxical finding that the more advanced and gender equal the country, the greater the gender disparity is in jobs. That means the more female nurses there are, that means the more male engineers there are. And why is that Norway, which is supposed to be the peak of gender equality, has the greatest disparity? So why is that? The video goes over a few scientific research papers that um, show evidence both ways. <laughs> Uh, if you're skeptical of it, you know, I totally understand. You should be skeptical of everything on the internet. Um, but lucky for you, I actually used to be a scientist. I used to be a geneticist before I was a game developer. I was able to check out the video and look up all the papers. And yeah, it all checks out. Like, it's really legit. The real scientific journal articles and really respected journals, it's real science. And so I really recommend seeing it. And spoiler alert, there's a lot of biological evidence showing that men and women are different biologically. It all has to do with hormones, hormone levels, and development. I think people at first when they hear this they find it kind of threatening. They think that this is bad for women's rights to show evidence for this. But I don't think so. If you really look at the evidence, it, it's almost the opposite. What it shows is that yes, as an average, taken as an average group, men and women are different. Men tend to be more oriented towards mechanical things and women are more towards social communication. But what it actually shows is that both men and women can fall anywhere on the spectrum. On average, they are different, but men can be anywhere from very analytical to very emotional. So can women. Anyone can, the average is different, but the spectrum is the same and anyone can be fall on it. For example, they talked about girls who are born with a higher level of testosterone. They tend to be drawn, for example, as babies, to toys that boys tend to like. And I can see this in my son's class. I have two kids now. I go to pick them up at daycare and the boys tend to play with the cars. The girls tend to play with the dolls or do each other's hair. But they'll be like the one girl that likes hanging out with the boys playing with the cars. And they'll be the one guy like hanging out with the story time circle. It's really fascinating to watch, and I could tell myself when I was watching this, I'm definitely one of these people with a bit more testosterone than average, because I like computers, I like technical things, I like tools, you know, I like guns, um, but I'm not interested in engineering, I find pure math extremely boring, I find coding kind of like mixed feelings, I like it because it gets me where I want to go, but I find it kind of dry, I hate learning new code, I love ponies. I love pretty things, so I'm, you know, somewhere towards the boy side, but not all the way. But if anything, I think this shows that men and women are both capable of everything, and but they will do things differently on average, and so we do expect to see a different gender discrepancy in every field. Each one has a different sort of average that it equilibrates at and you can fight this, but I don't understand why you would. But we really have to stop now pushing things like these coding camps for women, and girls can code, and like this needs to stop. It's so condescending. We know that women can code just as well as men, it's just they don't want to. Like, I don't know why everyone thinks coding is this mecca, everyone's just lining up, women just want to get in there, but boys are keeping them out because we're so weak and fragile, like, someone made a dongle joke and the girls just scattered, like... <laughs> I actually thought that dongle joke was hilarious, but, but these things like trying to get into girls to code, if the girls aren't interested, and we know biologically they're not interested, why are you doing it? Then the only reason left, it's like, it's as if it's World War II and we need more women in the workforce to force them in. Like, it's so stupid. Just let people do what they want to do, what they love to do, and the rest follows. In Western society, we are so lucky that we can truly do whatever we want, as long as our skills allow it. We don't... We're not stopped by gender the way people are now making it out to be. 
And if somebody made a dongle joke towards me, I'd high-five them, because that's a great joke. Like, I don't know why these people are, like, everything offends people now. It's nuts. I don't want to live in this world. Like, get me out.